So next week I will be in London um, doing various different things, meeting people. But uh, one thing I've never did, and um, I mean, I've spent so much time on the uh, the five murder locations. Um, Bucks Row, Hanbury Street, um, Berner Street, which is these days, it's um, Henry K Street. Mitre Square, which is still Mitre Square, and um, of course, Miller's Court, which is was Dorset Street, and um, it's now some kind of, um, so the five places, so 136 years ago, they were the scenes of the Autumn Terror, the five murders within 10 weeks, and um, I do often wonder, because I said I've spent so much, so much time around these uh, locations I've heard all the stories about how you know if you go on the anniversary of Mitre Square it, it lights up in Ripper's Corner um, apparently you know I mean it's well known that London is the most haunted city in um, in the world but yeah some of the Ripper locations are very very haunted apparently um, but I do often wonder, you know, for instance, the first one, um, Polly Nichols, you know, that, that's literally in the doorway of the new Whitechapel tube station. And, um, that must, that must get like thousands of people every single day. And I wonder whether any of them, it dawned on them that the, uh, you know, if the body was there today, they'd literally be stepping over the body. Um, yeah, although, I mean, to quote Richard Jones, the, uh, my favorite reprologist, if you look, and obviously the old East End's gone now, but if you look hard enough, it's still there. Um, so next week I'm going to be doing a video for all you guys and I'm going to put the five murder locations, um, on one video and, uh, show you as they are. Um, 136 years on from the murders, from uh, the Whitechapel murders. Um, to give you an example, <clears throat> to give you an example of, I mean, so Jack the Ripper was the Everest of British crime, maybe even world crime. It's the greatest who done it. Um, it's a story, isn't it, with the final chapter written, um, pulled out. But um, the first murder was. Um. Uh, God, it's it slips my mind at the minute. But yeah, so it's at the back of, um, sorry, Books Row. Yeah, so Books Row, um, and then it joins on to Valence Road. It was Baker's Row, which um, but these days it's Valence Road, which is uh, obviously the home of Britain's most notorious gangsters ever, the Cray Twins. And then on the other side, you've got Hamburg Street. So you've got Murder 1, you've got the Cray Twins, and then you've got Murder 2. Um, so the kind of most notorious serial killer of all time is, it's literally the next road to uh, the most infamous gangsters Britain's ever produced. So that's how close the story is. It's all uh, a very cockney East End it's not mythical because it happened, didn't it? But it's all in folklore. And, um, you know, the old, the real East Enders can walk by every single day and they're not even aware. It's all people, people like myself. And, uh, as far as America, it's Chinese, all these kind of things. Um, you know, if you walk around Whitechapel on a night, you'll, you can see, I mean, I counted before, I counted eight Jack the Ripper groups in, in, in my eyesight, in, uh, in sight. So, um, yeah, but a lot of the old East Enders do not buy into that kind of, you know, they wouldn't think for one second, oh, we'll go in the blind beggar and celebrate where some guy killed some, some poor soul. It's not really, um, that's more really for the, for the outsiders. Although it is, Greatly fascinating. But um, next week, I will be doing a video and uh, I will join all the videos together and I will show you the locations 
Um, I will put a picture as it was back then, and I will show you today, uh, as I said, 136 years on. And uh, yeah, as I said, I do often wonder, people will walk past in the thousands and m many of them will not think, well, this is where the them horrific murders that everyone knew the world over started. And as I said, you'd literally be touching the body. Um, so yeah, I will do a video next week and, uh, yes, I, I mean, I love hanging around there anyway. I do. I just, um, you know, I, when I did a book last year, I called it the something about Whitechapel, which Morrissey stood on the, on the stage a couple of, well, probably 20 years ago now. And he said, there's something about Whitechapel. And, um, I spoke to Paul Begg, the ripperologist, and, uh, he said, a lot of people will look at Whitechapel and, you know, a lot of people think it's a dump and all that. And then there's the other people like myself and you can look at it and think there's something really magical about it. The history, the heritage, uh, hundreds of years of tradition. You know, I mean, it's, it's called Whitechapel because there was a chapel there and it was white. Um, yeah, you know, like for, there's a lot of places in London that, that you find out where... For instance, Hound's Ditch is called Hound's Ditch because people used to go and chuck the hound in the ditch when it was dead. Um, Spitalfields um, was fields, but it was a hospital, and that's where the spittal from the hospital comes in together to fields. Um, so, you, oh, Jamie Jr. shouting his computer. Sometimes I don't even hear him. So I don't even see him. I just hear him shouting on his computer. Teenage lads for you. But uh, yeah, next week um, I will do a video and I will join all the five murder locations to uh, to and what they're like in 2024.